Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to simplify variable expressions with roots. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We have two expressions here. We want to simplify the square root of x to the 6th power and the square root of y to the 16th power. Well, let's go start with our first one, square root of x to the 6th power. Notice again, square root is an even root, okay? So it's an even root. So what that actually tells us here is that the n root of a to the n power, when n is even, okay, that equals the absolute value of whatever that a value is, okay? So we have to make sure our final answer has an absolute value. So the square root of x to the sixth power we want to see, well, how many x's really are in that. And I like to visualize this. We have x, 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 and one more, x. One, two, three, four, five, six. Multiplying them out. Well, the square root, we need x squares, right? I'm going to see how many x squares, right, kind of pair up. Because remember, there's like a little two here. So I'm just going to group pairs of two. x and x, x and x and x and x. How many pairs of two x's do we see? And there's three pairs, okay? Three pairs of x's. After we take the square root of that, we're gonna have three left over. So we have, well, it's just gonna be x times an x times an x. So like we see, the square root of x to the sixth power is equal to x times x times x, or x to the third power. Now, notice we said we have to put our absolute value because we don't know what that x value is, but we know it actually will have to be a positive number, okay? So to do that, what we want to have here is we have, well, really, I'm going to rewrite this to say absolute value of x all to the third power. The number itself has to be even first, or not even positive first, and then we can raise it to the third power. So we have to make sure we have absolute value of x to the third power. Now, <clears throat> uh, this next one here, uh, what we want to have is, well, we want to see the same idea, but we've applied to the 16th power, all right? I don't necessarily want to write y 16 times, but we know that, well, if we take a y squared out, right, y squared out, we're left with y to the 14th power, 14 y's left over, y squared is two y's. So we could do this eight times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, y squared, y squared, y squared, that's four, y squared, y squared, y squared, and y squared. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each one of those is its own little pair of y's, right? Like we did before. So we have eight y squares, and so the square root of y to the 16th power is gonna be a y to the eighth power, right there. Now in this case here, um, our final answer is y to an even power, so we don't really have to worry about the absolute value. We can put it in if we want to, but it doesn't really matter because, well, when we take it to an even power, it's gonna produce an a uh, positive number, so we don't really have to worry about that. So either way, our answer here is the square root of y to the 16th is y to the 8th power. I hope you learned something here on how to simplify variable expressions with roots. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.